when you're conducting counterintelligence, really the only way, or any kind of police work or cop work, the only way you can do this is by looking for clues. And, uh, and I was uh, very fond of looking for clues, as most of what I did all the time when I was on the street. So you look at your target, and you think about things that they do, weird little quirks. Because in the criminal world, if you want to protect yourself, and all of those that are aspiring spies out there need to know this, um, you need to have routines that you do to keep yourself safe. So Hansen's routine was this. Whenever he walked around, he kept his Palm Pilot in his left back pocket of his pants. And when he sat down at his desk, he would sit down and immediately grab it and put it in his bag. And when he stood up, he would just automatically grab it and put it back in his pants. He was never away from this. I think the only reason he pulled it out of his pants because he didn't want to sit on the thing. This isn't like the i4 today, you know, or the or the uh, Blackberries today. This was the old, ugly, huge Palm 3 from uh, 2000 that flipped open. The other thing was he talked about it like it was his eighth eighth child. It was one of the most important things to him, and he talked it up and how you have to have one. So I thought, well, that's a clue. That, by the way, is my clue hat. When I was uh, when I was a, a green kid, you know, when I was young and I was right at the academy and I was on the street, I had the supervisor. And uh, when we were on the street, um, sometimes our communications wouldn't work, the, the technology wasn't so good, and we'd be following a target, and you'd always know where your supervisor was. And if you looked at him, he was going like this, you missed something. He's like, that's your clue. Um, well, the clue here was this Palm Pilot, how much he loved it, and how he always had these things that he did with it to make sure he was never separated from it. 